Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello dear learners, I am Dr. Himani Singh working as an assistant professor with Institute of Business Management, GLA University, Mathura. I welcome you all to the session 19 of course that is professional communication for managers. Session 19 is on media management wherein I am going to talk more specifically about press conference. In the last session, we discussed about different public relation tools and in that I briefed on to the pre press release. So now in this session, once the session will be over, you will be able to understand that what are the basic objectives of ma managing media. And not just this, in fact, in this session, I am going to dig more into the concept as well as the rele relevance of conducting press conference. Also, I will be telling you that as a manager, if you are going on for planning and holding a press conference, then what are the intricacies, what are the things which you need to plan before the press conference, which you need to do during the press conference and what you need to make sure after the press conference. Also, I am going to discuss some of the strategies which are going to make your press conference again a wonderful show. So now let us begin with the objectives of media management. What are the objectives? Yes, that is very closely linked with the public relations and the most important objective of media management, managing the media is to create a favorable image for your organization, to portray your organization as the credible organization, to develop the trust among the publics. So that is one major objective of media management. That is why you need to handle, you need to manage media so well so that you are able to establish your credibility, your goodwill in the mind of the publics. Now again remember what the public says, publics it can be uh, your customers, your prospective customers, your present customers or else the government or the shareholders, investors and so on. Not just this, media management helps you in promoting your products as well as services. Yes, somewhere or the other it is more than simply advertising things. That is why I am talking about building trust here through managing media. You can build trust with your publics while managing the media in the most efficient manner. Also in this regard, media management is also aims at educating your public telling your or informing your public about the relevant changes, the relevant issues or the information in terms of profit figures, in terms of coming up with new idea, with new product, with new service to your people, to the publics. Also when we talk in context of objectives, yes creating as well as disseminating goodwill by creating a favorable image. That is again one very important objective. Now I am going to focus upon press conference. What is a press conference? Yes, we do say that press conference is a tool of public relations. This is a tool which is used in order to generate news about your organization among the publics. 
Yes, it is a media tool which is designed to generate news. Now again, when we say press conference, it can be that you want to go on for holding a press conference because you want to share some positive news, some new change which is going to again transform the organization and it is you know that it is going to be taken in the most positive manner by your people. So that is what is you want to share some positive news and that is why you are going for holding a press conference. Another aim for holding a press conference is contrary to this positive message is that you tend to limit your negative press coverage. Sometimes some organizations they tend to use press conference as a damage control tool. For example, your organization is into news for some negative reasons. Although might be possible that the news is not correct, it is incorrect, it is totally wrong. So, press conference is one way by which you can address the public through media and tell that where you are not wrong or where is the incorrect information coming from or how the information is wrong. So yes, many a times people do go on for conducting a press conference either to share the positive message with them or in case something wrong has happened, negative has happened. So to limit that negative press coverage also or to go on for as a tool for damage control a tactic also, you can use press conference for your savior. Now moving further, I am going to elaborate more on to this depth that why to hold a press conference. See dear learners, press conference is a costly affair. Why I am saying costly affair because when I will be digging more into the concept you will be getting to know that you need to make n number of arrangements and not only in terms of money there are resources which are apart from monetary resources which you need to use when you want to go on for holding a press conference and that re really requires time as a resource, money as a resource and n number of other things. So, you need to be very, very clear with this thought that why to hold a press conference. Can this work be done or can this information be disseminated without holding a press conference? If not, the answer to that question is if not or no, I cannot go without press conference in that case only, you should go on for handling a or holding a press conference, right? So the very first thing that why because remember when we discussed press release that is a factual statement which is being released by the organization to the media. So many a times when we talk about or uh, if I say press release remember I said that it needs to be concise it should not be very lengthy. So in press release you can give only limited information. Why? Because it cannot be very big. Only limited information can be provided through press release. If you want to elaborate more, if you want to give more of the information to the publics, you should go on for holding a press conference where you believe that whatever information you have provided through a press release that was not sufficient or people are coming up with n number of queries, n number of thoughts in their mind. So after that, after releasing of that press, you can go on holding a press conference. And another advantage of a press conference is that it is highly interactive. Yes, in the press release, there is no one to answer the queries of the person. But in press conference, yes, you are, you as a representative of the organization is there to hold the queries, to clarify the doubts, 
to give the answers. So, press conference is good because that is more of two way communication, wherein both the parties are going on for sending some message and receiving the feedback and that is how the cycle is moving on. That is why press conference is good because interaction is there and when that interaction is there, when you can interact with the people, see it is both ways that uh, it boosts the morale for both, for both. Why I am saying both, both in terms of the company person as well as the publics, why? As a company because you can see people, you can see media and you know that okay media is asking me certain questions and I am able to explain and give valid justifications. So that boost up your morale as a company. And from the perspective of the publics, yes, their representatives, that's media people, they are intervening, they are asking queries of the publics, of the customers and that's how their morale is also boost because they know that okay, our questions, our queries are being sorted out and now we can trust this particular company. So it is mutual uh, boosting of morale, right? Also, through a press conference, you can explain the implications of a particular decision. For example, there is a change in the company CEO position of your organization, right? Although that change was somewhat sudden, uh, it was not planned and again that decision came just uh, as a sudden news to the people. Although yes, undoubtedly you were planning, you as an organization were planning, but there was no news in the market and for the publics it came as a shocking news. Press conference provides you with an opportunity wherein you can tell and explain the implications to the people because in the press release you have limited space. You can just express limited thing that okay this is the change, this is the person who has taken up, this is how we are planning. But in the press conference you can bring that person, make himself again aware with the publics, interact with the publics and yes public is going to be more uh, comfortable, the media is going to be more happy to meet that person and ask their queries directly to that person. So it explains the implication of the organizational decisions that if you are doing this, what was the reason, what is the reason, what is the future implication for the same, that you can always go on for explaining. Not just this, not only about the positive news, in fact, you can go on for giving some clarifications with the proper facts, figures about saying that the negative news is wrong. It gives the press conference gives you an opportunity wherein you can justify your situation, you can put your points across that what was the thing, what was the negative thing which happened, what was the reason behind that, there is no truth in that, all such things you can explain through a press conference because press conference is going to provide you with this opportunity wherein you can explain your point, you can give clarification over the negative news. Now, apart from this, yes, when we talk about press conference, there is more about let us go on for more coverage. If you will make your press conference live through some social media channel, then it is going to have more coverage, more coverage in comparison to other PR tools. Also, if you are going to invite media people that ultimately adds importance to your press conference. The more important media people in the market, if they are going and attending your press conference, they are covering your news, of course your press conference in itself is an important one. If you are getting more worthy media people, you are able to bring them at your organization, nothing best than that. Because in 
itself it is a news that big media people they are coming to your press conference it is in itself is a news and for sure if big media people they are coming they are looking some worth into that for sure the topic the agenda the argument which you want to place that is quite important for the publics that's why they are coming so you need to be very very clear that why to hold a press conference because again i'll say that press conference is a costly affair you need to be very very sure that whether you should go on for holding it or you should you don't want to arrange a press conference so be clear with the why not just this there's another thing that what are the different events for which you should go on for holding a press conference again if a uh, there is a change in some lower level management position some person resigned and some person has taken up do you really think that it matters to the publics not necessarily not necessarily right what matters is the company ceo has changed because that's again going to impact the shares the whole strategy of the organization that's going to transform the whole strategy of the organization so what media is looking for they are looking for some important news for some worthy news which is of some value so remember one thing that if it is a special event some special event has taken place in your organization something different which was not previously done it can be either you are coming up with some new product some very different transformational change some change in the services and so on something special you believe that yes yeah, this is a special event which has taken place in my company for that you should go on for holding a press conference not just this in fact as i said that there is some change in the most relevant positions the key positions of your organization like there's a change in the position of the md or the ceo so you want to introduce that into the individual to the publics and through media you can go on for introducing the people so press conference is again a very good way out to go for introducing a, an individual not just this in fact if there is some emergency or crisis situation some kind of uh, negative news is there in the market about your organization in that case also you can go on for arranging a press conference wherein you can go and explain your position not just this in fact some significant news is there important news again linked with the above uh, issues and some kind of reaction to a related event for example something happened in your organization although you did you didn't hold a press conference but some of your competitors they are coming up with some comments with some other thing so in order to go on for giving clarification for that you might be holding a press conference so it was not you who thought of planning a press conference it was just you wanted to give a reaction to some related event due to which you want to go on for holding a press conference so see you need to understand that why and when to hold a press conference that you need to be very very clear of because again press conference is a costly affair now coming on to the most important aspect of a press conference that's handling a press conference when we talk about handling a press conference it is on to three parts which you need to work upon that's before the press conference before the event the big event that's the press conference event what you need to take care during the press conference when the press conference is going on at that time at that present moment what are the things which you again need to focus upon and then towards the end once the press conference is over most of the time people believe that we need to be uh, careful about before the event and during the event but no 
your success also depends on the after of the event. That is once the press conference is over, that question and answer session is over between you and the media people. After that also is an important aspect, the important timing. So, after the event. So, I will be covering three things that is what you need to think of or plan for before the event and during the event that means at the event and after the event. So, I am starting with before the event. Now, before going for an event, you need to specify the message and before specifying the message even you need to be very very clear with the thought that what is my objective to hold this press conference why i am holding this press conference what i want to achieve what is the result which I am looking forward to result looking forward that you need to decide before see if I want to go on for uh, holding a press conference wherein I want that uh, the new CEO of my company should be introduced to the all people what's the point why you want to do this it is just a norm in your organization or you really want to achieve something. You really want that this new person, this new individual who is joining your organization should be able to come and develop a repo through the media people in the mind of the publics. So, you need to be very clear that if I am holding this press conference, what I want to get out of this press conference, what I want to achieve, what is my expected result which I am aiming towards, that is again a very very important aspect which most of the people miss out. What they will do? They will just go on holding a press conference without any result orientation in their mind. And then towards the end what they are saying, oh uh, we incurred so much of expenses but we did not got anything. Of course, you will not be getting anything uh, in person or uh, might be in tangible ways, you might not be getting anything like that. I am not talking in that manner, but that intangible things which you are going to get that matters the most. And if before planning, before defining the message, if you are not thinking of it and towards the end you are crying that oh why I wasted my resources on holding a press conference, then you need to really think upon, really you need to think upon, fine. So, you need to understand that what is my objective, why I want to do this press conference even, what is my result which I am looking forward to. Once you are going to have this clarity in your mind, then you need to work upon specifying the message. That what my message is which I want to reach to every person in public. Specifying the message. Now, this is again an intelligent activity. intelligent activity. Now, in some organizations it is just the CEO who tends to decide onto this or it can be a group activity wherein the top management of the organizations or the board of directors of the organizations, they sit together, brainstorm onto all such things and then only they come up with defining a specific message, they compose a specific message they decide on to their result orientation together. So, it depends again from organization to organization that whether you are working as an individual for this particular activity or you are going for a group kind of activity, right. Now, moving forward that is deciding the schedule. Now, you might be thinking 
why to decide on to schedule time day a particularly day any day will work out any time will work out what's your thinking no if you want to hold a press conference you need to look into this issue as well i'll tell you why for example if i talk about the time if you are arranging a press conference in the early morning hours 5 am 6 am 7 am might not be a right decision again i'm not talking about any urgent things but again if it is a pre planned activity pre planned way of public relation tool then you need to plan and see when we talk about the coverage uh, if i talk about the traditional way yes in traditional we used to have different time slots at which news is coming although now we are into that technology age where in every time different news is coming right but still but still when we talk about the time we tend to prefer 10 am to 1 pm time that is most preferred see i am not saying that every each and every press conference is going to be going to take place during these time limits only no i am not saying this what i am simply saying is that what is the most preferred time people tend to if it is a planned activity you are doing planning so that is again a time wherein you have some space it's neither too early in the morning right that's a normal office hours general office hours right neither too late in the evening so the people who are who are the media people who have come for traveling a lot they can go back to their places on time all such things and towards after the end of the conference also you should have some time for doing chit chat and networking kind of thing which we'll discuss in the later part of the session so what is the most preferred timing that's around 10 am 11 am to 1 pm 2 pm not beyond that but again dear learners many a times people do conduct uh, press conferences in the evening hours in the late hours that can be done but what is the most suitable one it is this right now i am going to talk on that which days whether it's monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday does it matter go for any day choose any day no again i'll say that if you are planning this effort then try to place your event somewhere in the mid of the week mid of week avoid taking up weekends right like um, towards the fr towards friday also you should try avoid if it is not important saturday sundays you should avoid right also monday should be avoided why i'm saying monday should be avoided because again when we talk most of the time people do plan uh, their press conferences on monday itself when people are coming back to work so uh, media people might be more busy during that particular day so just in case just in case uh, so we believe that mid of the week tuesday wednesday thursday fridays also sometimes you can take right these are the most preferred days in the week which you can go for right now moving further pick the site that means when you take any venue whether it is your organization it should be a meeting room right a big room but again when we talk about venue you need to take care of some points like uh, wherever you are inviting your people that particular place should be properly ventilated that place should have good parking space you might be wondering why i am focusing more on the parking space right because you are calling 
different media people, right? And when you are calling different media people for the press conference, they might be coming up with their own equipments, right? With their cameras and other things. And when you are calling them, they need space to park their big vehicles. And if that place is quite a congested one, what you are doing? You are not making their stay comfortable. So, make sure whatever venue you are selecting, that venue should be more professional. At the same time, it should have a lot of parking space. It should be spacious. The meeting room which you are going for, it should be space, spacious so that number of people whom you have invited, they can find good place to sit. They are not just looking here and there that where to sit how to arrange the seating arrangement. So, pick that side. Although it is again advisable that uh, you should not arrange the venue on places like which are uh, situated in mid of the city where too much of congestion traffic jams are there. Because again in that case might be possible that the moment media person got to know that venue is situated in mid of the city where the traffic jam is most common might be possible that he thinks that oh I am not going there. It is going to take um, another 4, 5, 6 hours for me to go there and might be possible I am not going to have good news. So, all such considerations you need to keep in your mind. Fine. Now, moving forward, what else you need to think upon before going for arranging or organizing a press conference? participants, the people who are going to be from the company and who are going to face media people. Yes, you need to select as well as train them. Why I am saying selection is required? Do not bring anyone from the boardroom there on the desk wherein they are sitting and addressing the media people. Do not get anyone else. Make sure whosoever is sitting there, they are really good speakers. They know that at what time, with what level I need to speak. They should be good public speakers. And if they are not, then what you need to do is, you need to provide them training. Now, when I say selection, try to bring those people on the days to address the media who are having high credibility. Now, again that can be either you are bringing some of uh, some people uh, from the organization and someone from the opinion leaders or some religion leaders whatever you feel like, whatever you think is suitable as per your issue, as per your argument. So, select the people who are having high credibility in this regard. So, that the moment they are sitting there some kind of credibility is being transferred through their uh, presence. We can know, oh, this person is sitting in their press conference, for sure they are going to come up with good things, positive things, right? So, that is why it is required that uh, uh, when you select the people, you should select high credibility people. If some of the person is involved into some wrong practices, right, and people know about this, do not bring that person on the board here for the press conference, no do not select, irrespective of the fact that that person might be holding a very good position in your organization. Do not bring that person for the press conference, if that is not required as per the argument, right. Also make sure, train your people, train your people, train the participants that they should be as concise as possible, as crisp as possible. Do not go for very, very long statements, very crisp, very concise. Prepare your statements not more than 3 to 5 minutes, no. 
because the more you are going to speak you might end up speaking something which was not required for that press conference. Keep it crisp, concise, brief and at the same time practice it with that duration. You should practice with this duration so that you should know that you are not just beating around the bush, you know the specific thing, prepare it. right? Also, also very much required that you need to feel confident whether you are or you are not. See whenever uh, the participants they go on for attending, they go on for participating in the press conference and holding the media, some kind of nervousness is always there, it is always there, there is no problem in that. But you should know that you should be able to cover up your nervousness with your confident face, with your confident body language, that is what you need to appear like. Show your self confidence to the, the people, because the moment you will feel confident in yourself, for sure you will be able to put your points across in the right possible manner, right. Not just the confidence, again how you can gain confidence through your content through your content as well as through your appearance, both the things. Make yourself that you are appearing professional, your physical appearance is professional when you are going and attending a business conference, press conference, right. So see th this is what how you need to train your people, they might not be good at public speaking, they might not be a perfect for a press conference, but you can train them, you can always train them. Not just this, make sure that they are tactful, see these two things that being tactful and being truthful. You might see that oh, once I am saying tactful and the other way I am saying being truthful, see both the things go simultaneously. When I am saying being tactful, you should know at what time what you should speak, with what level and at the same time I am saying that you need to be truthful, do not hide, do not just exaggerate the things, no, be truthful because there are n number of cameras out there, they are capturing you, they are capturing your uh, body gestures, their facial expressions, right, everything and one wrong statement, one misquoted statement, it is going to be viral, so be truthful do not lie when you are sitting there with, with the media people. One more thing, you should be trained like that if in case you are in a situation wherein a media person has asked you a query, but you are not comfortable answering that thing, you can always involve the other person from the board to answer that query. And rather than simply saying no comments, that is again a very wrong gesture which you should not go for. You can always say that in this regard, my dear friend this or Mr. So and so is going to help you out or is, uh, is, I believe that he is the right person to handle this query. So like this in a positive way you can always go for, right. Now apart from this train the moderator, yes who is the moderator? Moderator is going to be a person there who is going to moderate this session. He is a kind of interconnecting link between the board people and the media people. He is a person who will make sure, who will ensure that the discussion is on the right track. Discussion is on track, right? So he is a person who will ensure this thing. If media people they are deviating somewhere else, they are going out of the issue, out of the message which was being described to them that we are meeting here to discuss this only, but they are bringing some other issues also. So moderator's role comes here, that moderator can simply tell the media people to come back on the track and a moderator is the one who is going to keep on getting questions to the board people. So his role is also very very important, very important. 
he is a person who will be introducing all the members participants to the media people so his responsibility is more not just this apart from this what do you need to plan when you are thinking to go for a press conference is contacting media how you are going to contact media that is again a very big because if media people are not coming to your event then what's the point in conducting a press conference so for that you really need to do your homework in a very good manner you need to have a comprehensive list of the media people whether big players or small player which one you want in your press conference take viable decision valid decision and prepare that list prepare a list to whom you can contact and you can bring them for the media coverage the more people you will get yes you will be troubled more but at the same time your coverage is going to be widespread so you need to decide that what you want you don't want to be troubled but i think that press conference is meant for that only right so try to get maximum media for maximum coverage of your event and think wisely if it is an event for example something some information which you want to share with your people with your publics that is more of a regional kind of information there is no requirement of the people from outside india or uh, international domestic uh, publics or domestic publics no you don't want that it's just a small region so for in that case more suitable is what local media people regional media people you should call them rather than targeting the big players whose presence is not there in the regional area fine that is why i'm saying that when you prepare this comprehensive list you need to look for that which media people you want on uh, in your event and with that you should also prepare a press advisory prepared right prepare a press advisory so that you can send that press advisory to your people when you are contacting them now when we talk about contacting how you are going to contact either you will be sending a mail or a telephone call or personal invitation how and so on it this again depends on you that how you want if you share that kind of relationship with the that media just you are going to drop him a mail and they'll come to you or you just need to give a telephone call but there are some media you really want them to be there in your press conference but you know that just by dropping an email they won't come you just need to go and meet them and or or you need to send some of your representative to invite them so plan again judiciously smartly that what do you want whether they will be coming by mail or they really need to have uh, something more special way of inviting them so look for that way whatever is suitable because again you if you want them to be present there then you need to plan accordingly fine so making comprehensive list looking for how you are going to invite them and see once you have contacted them and they might have said yes to you don't forget to follow up don't forget to follow up that is again a thumb rule which you should follow most of the time what happens is that we tend to invite media people and on the day of the event when the event is media people it just slipped from their mind they were not able to make up no follow up once you have dropped a mail for example then after 3 4 days if you are not getting any reply then just call again see these timelines depends that when you are inviting but also one more thing when you are contacting them don't contact them at the 11th hour don't expect them see th there is a difference 
again if I will say that there is some urgent situation wherein you cannot wait and you believe that if you will be contacting at the 11th hour people are going to turn up then yes you can go but uh, again in a pre-planned activity no it's a big no you should inform them in advance so that they can prepare and come right also before the press conference you need to prepare a press kit see uh, when you send the press advisory that is also fine but if your budget allows i'm going to suggest you that you should provide a press kit to all the media people when they are coming for the press conference now what that press kit is going to have in it a press kit consists of list of participants people who will be on the board who will be addressing uh, the audience apart from that you need to have the press release the copy of press release which you might have released earlier and after that only you are conducting a, conducting this press conference so that copy of press release not just the copy of press release also you need to provide some of the statistical data some background information some facts some figures which are required to be quoted in your press conference and you want that the media should know about these facts and figures so yes as i said that list of participants that who else is going to participate in this press conference you need to put the press release right copy of press release and then you need to also give some statistical data some background information which is really required for the by the media people also with this you can go on for placing some of the pictures which are linked with the event with the event some glossy black and white pictures you can use for placing with the inside the press kit not just this in fact short biographies pa one paragraph biographies of the participants people who are going to address the media from the company so you can say biographies of company people yeah or uh, you can say participants from company side participant from company who are going to address media right so not just this in fact one more aspect in a press kit is that you should put the related news for example um, whatever issue you want to share through this press year conference right there might be some news which might have published by some of the reputed journals some reputed newspapers right so for that you can keep those cuttings as well in your press kit so this is how you can prepare a press kit and yes my suggestion is that with the press advisory you should always go on for preparing a press kit uh, also towards the end when you go on for preparing or looking for the arrangements before the press conference prepare the room look for the proper arrangements proper lighting proper equipment proper seating arrangement everything you need to take care right now moving towards that at the press conference what you are going to make sure what is your role there make sure you are present there to welcome the company personnel should welcome the media people now again i am not saying that it is only need to be md there or ceo need to be there again it can be any representatives from your end who should go on for welcoming them then present them with the press kit make sure that whatever time you have decided for a press conference it should be a timely affair you're not just exceeding beyond that something up and down is fine but a press conference which you arrange for one hour it is ending in four hours that doesn't make sense right also make sure if you want that even to be recorded then proper cameras proper placing is there uh, make sure that the moderator out there is performing his or her role in the best possible manner because that person is one who is the connecting link between the media and the participants from the company 
So, make sure that person is able to do that, not just this, during the press conference, try to maintain proper decorum. Yes, for sure, interaction needs to be there, but th that interaction needs to be on the positive end. Fine, so this was about at the press conference and after the press conference, what you need to take care is, once the press conference is over, the media people have stopped asking you the queries. It's not that, that, that you just go back into your cabins as participants. No, never. Go and meet the media people personally. Develop networks strategically. See, five participants were there, so kindly arrange yourself, divide yourself as per the media people who are there, that you should strategically go and meet them. Develop networks. Try to present them uh, some kind of press packet or again press kit if some media people were not able to come and attend your uh, press conference. Make sure that you are sending their press kit to their office for future references. Or after the press conference, what else you can do is, you can invite some of the media person from some reputed um, newspaper or media contact who can come and interview the company personnel individually. That is again a good idea, a good way of networking. Also, towards the end, discuss the whole press conference with the people of your organization and try to find out that where you were good and where you were not. So that next time, whenever you are holding a press conference, such mistakes cannot be repeated. So this is how you need to take care of the whole affair, of the whole press conference. Now I'll just talk about the strategies for effective press conference. Make sure that you are having proper body language during the interaction. As a company personnel, through your body language only, the media people, they are going to interpret many things. Action speaks louder than words, right? So media people tend to take nonverbal clues as well. They are just waiting there. So make sure your body language is appropriate. You make proper eye contact with the person, with the other media people who, who is asking a question or whosoever is not asking the question with them. Make sure that your eye contact is good because your eye contact tends to convey your confidence. The speech which you are giving, the para language. See, many a times what happens is that when we go on for training the participants, we train them about the content. Fine, they'll be preparing their three to five minute speech kind of thing or whatever they want to speak. But we forget to focus upon the para language, the tone, the volume, pitch and so on. We prepare the content but forget the para language. So both the things are equally uh, important. Prepare the content thoroughly. You should know that why you are going, what's the information about, what are the different things, X, Y, Z and so on. Look for the para language as well. Respond to the queries in the positive manner. Even if you do not want to answer, don't say no comments. That is again a very negative gesture. You can always say that uh, this is not linked with the present press conference. So we think that we should be on the track like this. You can go on. Don't use offensive words or offensive language. Complete your or wind up your press conference within time limits. Try to establish credibility by bringing credible people on the board. That is also one very important aspect. Also, don't forget that you are dealing with media, respect all media. Whether big player or small player, irrespective of this fact, treat them equally, give them respect. If you want to, uh, if you want that media should be provided with some of the uh, data, figure, facts, something like that, Make yourself that it is documented and you have some extra copies as well that as and when media people require, you can provide them. So that document should always be prepared. 
it should not be that at uh, the moment when these media people they are asking at that time you are getting that document no it's not okay uh, one more point uh, which i just also want to quote that rehearse practice practice you might be wondering that how you can practice press conference ask some of the people from your organization only to ask queries to you and you just give answers rehearse yes you need to rehearse as this is a planned affair i'm again and again talking about this try to use other social media platforms also to increase your reach as i said that you can make your press conference live through different social media networks so if possible go for that also it should not only be uh, offline affair it can be online affair also also create the ideal media list which is very important most of the time what happens is that the company people they just end up bringing everyone on the board everyone on uh, in the press conference they tend to invite each every person no not required make sure that whosoever is appropriate for your news for your coverage call them not just this make yourself appear professional and work upon your communication skills be a good speaker develop or nurture public speaking skills in that case you will be able to transfer the credibility of the organization to the media people and further they will be transferring it to the publics so these are some of the strategies for effective press conference so dear learners in this session i discussed about the different objectives of media management and how you can hold a press conference so i believe that next time when your senior or anyone around you is asking you to hold a press conference so you know that when and why to hold a press conference as well as how to hold a press conference what thing you need to keep in your mind what are the points which day which timing every decision you can take wisely now and towards the end i have also discussed some of the strategies if you are going to follow these strategies trust me your press conference is going to be the most successful affair so dear learners i hope you are able to understand this session and make sure that if you are holding a press conference that is going to be a successful affair thank you and happy learning